Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. Welcome to the mental house. If y'all don't see now that we are in need of a cleansing, and I'm talking about a real cleansing, uh, we are in such in need of emotional, mental cleansing that if we don't do something and if don't don't help don't arrive mentally for the uh, majority of us, this country is going to hell in a handbasket faster than you can even blink. We are in denial over the men of the mental illness, and not only that, the uh, inability to hold our emotions. And we don't want to take responsibility for creating a bunch of weak ass people. And we don't want to hold ourselves accountable for listen, every time I start making a video, let me go ahead and shut these dogs down because they just don't understand. Um I'm back. You know. The thing is, uh, police have identified five of the six victims killed during a mass shooting in Virginia Walmart Tuesday, hours after naming the disgruntled manager who carried out the killing. In a press release Wednesday evening, the city of Chesapeake identified five of the deceased victims as Lorenzo Gamble, Brian Pendleton, Kelly Pyle, Randall Blevins and Tanika Johnson. The sixth deceased victim was a 16-year-old boy, the city said. His name and photo were withheld due to his age. And so the victim's age in uh, range, age range in between 16 and 70. Earlier in the day, the city identified the shooter as the store manager, Andre Bean, who opened fire in the break room of the Walmart in Sam Circuit, Chesapeake, at 10.12 p.m. A total of 14 employees had been gathered there for a pre-shift meeting, uh, with local outlets reporting being had a list of the names of the people he wished to target. It is not yet clear if any of the victims were on the lease reportedly found by the authorities on Bing's person. Bing was over being an overnight worker described as a loner by those who knew him, shot ten people in a in total before turning the gun on himself. The release name in the victim said that the city of Chesapeake has always been known as a city that cares. And now even more than ever we know that our city will show up and care for those most in need. It added that the sixth victim was a 16-year-old male resident of Chesapeake and that he's a minor. They said, please join us in praying for the family and friends that we lost. Tributes to the victims from mourning family members started to surface well Wednesday. I mean, Look at this. Then we got the nightclub shooting that just happened a couple days prior to that. This is a sick country. And so anytime, that's why I said this, political parties are not going to get us out of this. Because we got people that are stupid enough and desensitized enough to think that it's okay to run around with assault rifles. And that to support a party who keeps talking about don't take away my guns. When the really the, the real thing is they saying is, we want to make sure we got enough guns in case black people rebel. And we're afraid of them. So we can't have a society where we can't bully them with our without our artillery. See, this is where this stuff really has a root and a cradle in fear. There's no civilized society that thinks it's okay to walk around 
and have this many shoot over 600 shootings this year alone. Mass shootings. This is okay. This is okay. I can't believe y'all think that. I can't. I mean, there's, there's a lot of sick people in this nation. And if we don't address it, if we don't address it, I don't know. I don't know how we can go on as a civilized society or even consider ourselves a civilized society. Well, this is how we solve our emotional problems. We just get a gun, an AK-47, and go and shoot up everybody in the club or go shoot up everybody in the damn Walmart or the grocery store. This is not a well society. This society is sick. And it's going to get sicker because people that we put in position as power brokers or politicians don't give a damn about this kind of shit. They don't. We got to care about it. I don't know. I don't know. And the only people that's fighting to keep these assault weapons, I hate to say, are white people. Who to me are so afraid that we're going to do them the way they did us. That they want to make sure they stay super, supremely strapped. Listen. If we ain't did nothing to y'all yet, you don't even got to worry about it. We are not who you need to be worrying about. We do more destructive stuff to ourselves than we ever would do to you. We have severe case of misplaced anger. I thought you knew that. Can't you tell by what's happening in these urban areas, these ghettos, how we shoot each other? Because we're afraid to shoot you? Come on now. They said this idiot got a manifesto. And, uh, I mean, why? Why? These young people, Tanika's just 22. She was the first to be identified. He had opened fire on them in the break room. And then killed himself. They described him as weird. And revealed he was so paranoid about being watched by the government that he taped over the camera on his phone. Well, I saw a picture where they were uh, filming him in the break room, of course, you know, way before this. And he jumped out of the camera and was looking like, oh, how'd you get me? You know, I didn't think that too strange because a lot of people don't like to be filmed without, you know, them being prepared for it. This right here is sad. Most of the three of the victims were taken to the hospital where they concerned could succumb to their injuries. Four people are still in the hospital with unspecified injuries. It remains unclear if being legally owned his handgun or the multiple rounds of ammunition he bought with him. Police say he was dressed in civilian clothing and not wearing any kind of protective vest. Everyone called him weird. That was all anyone could say about Andre. Uh, who pre say somebody who previous worked with him. He's just weird. Interesting. This is the full uh, video with him 
We were driving in the back. We were driving in the back, and I was parking it and everything. That's it. Matter of fact, they um, it's so funny about the car. <laughs> Facebook Live. And and once he found out he was on camera, he just walked away. <laughs> support manager. The support manager. Yeah. What? A, I don't understand. So nobody understands why he did that. And this is what is happening. People being shot, ambushed, taking out mass killings, and you got the nerve to still think this is the greatest country? Man, we got work to do. Wow. I don't know, y'all. Uh, I just, I just, my condolences go out to the families. I, I, I just, I just can't. I'll see y'all in the next video.